Hello everyone, happy 2021, my first video of the new year. Thank you to Chelsea and to Ed's Gaming and to all my channel members. Thanks everyone just for watching. Uh, I really appreciate your support. You may possibly, I don't know because I've got my headphones on now, but my, my next door neighbour seems to have bought herself a really annoying clock and you might possibly although I hope you don't hear the chimes from that clock it's a very faint sort of ding 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 it seems to go off every 11 minutes so the clock must be running really really fast and hopefully I've got things set up that you can't hear it but if you do I apologize about a year ago I made a video uh, about my mod list and the, the mods that I use and that was not meant to be a tutorial it was just to show you the mods that I'm using and how I get the my game the way that my game looks and seeing as I've changed things up a little bit I thought I'd do another one of those what I didn't explain last time was about load order you can't just download a mod and bung it anywhere in your load order. The load order is like a, a ladder and the whatever is on the higher rungs will be overwritten by the mods that are underneath it if they do similar things. So for example if you've got a mod that overhauls weapons, if a mod overhauls all weapons and then you have another mod that overhauls a specific weapon, then that one for the specific weapon has to go underneath the one that overhauls everything, if you understand that. But similarly with landscape mods, sometimes they do similar things. And if you get one in the wrong place, so sometimes you put mods in and things look horrible or they, they, they don't seem to be working. And shuffling the mod the mod load order can get things to work okay what i wanted to do was to get a sort of more vibrant summer green look to the open world of particularly southern skyrim um, i didn't really pay attention too much about snow in the north but i wanted a kind of green look so that there's some difference there initially when i started that i was what what happened was that uh, the grass in the foreground was really, really dark with the new mods that I added. And then the grass in the distance was really, really bright and that didn't work. So I had to rearrange load order. I ended up actually deleting some mods and then adding different mods to try and get the look that I wanted. And now at, at the moment, I think I'm really happy with it. And I also had another mod, which I noticed quite late, a mod that's supposed to fix meshes. And I don't think I needed that, it was kind of extra, uh, but that caused kind of glitches in certain areas. I ended up deleting that one after I published the, the list that I posted on my channel page, the community page on my channel. And, but I've edited that now so that that shows it shows exactly what I've got at the moment. But when I got the greens in a way that I was happy with it, I ended up going to Whiterun and looking out across at the mountains and the mountains looked horrible. They looked like a child had painted them. So I wanted a mountain mod. And after sort of experimenting for a while, I noticed that when I went to Windhelm and went to the, the Palace of the Kings, as you approach the Palace of the Kings to go in to see where Ulfric is, the walls on either side would disappear, a bit like my hand. <laughs> but both sides, the, the walls would just, as, as you turn the camera towards them, the walls would just disappear and you could walk into them and they're not there. And so that wasn't right. So I had to go through each and every mod to see what was causing that problem. And it turned out to be the mountain mod that I put in. And I'm not going to tell you what that was because it probably works absolutely fine with a different load order. But for me, that was the mod that I had to delete. 
and I found another mountain mod which works with my load order so that now my walls in Windhelm stay where they're supposed to be and my mountains look absolutely great I'll show you in a little while but anyway a quick run through of the mods that I'm using and what they do and then I'll give you a little guided tour around Skyrim and show you the look of my game um, I hope you'll like it as much as I do so first of all the unofficial patch essential tries to fix all bugs and then we've got one to improve performance this mod 60 frames per second interface and the next three are sort of general so stat static mesh high poly project and Skyrim balanced are kind of general overhaul mods that, that sort of try to make things look nice and now we get specific granite mountains is the the mountain mod that I'm using and then trees fatherland trees the add-on for that that mod is just in two parts and you have to load them in that order get that the way, wrong way around and then horrible things happen I would imagine and then we have the grass so I've gone for short grass mixed grasses and that I'm really pleased with that there's like little bits of, it's like clover in there and it looks lovely greener Skyrim we've gone for grass level of detail is that LOD uh, and it's a, a green tint and then high terrain level of detail mesh and then one that I had before was surreal lighting and interior graphics divine embers I had all those before darker distant LOD that really helped with the mountains I think it seems to work really well and the modern brawl bug fix managed to say it right this time just fixes that um, fisticuff situation where you have a wager for 100 gold Inigo of course a mod to do this the save the ice runner quest which I, I did a video last time on that so you don't have to um, turn that lighthouse off and you can get rid of that quest civil war cleanup looking forward to seeing that uh, in this playthrough when I do the civil war quest try and get that fixed any damaged buildings I think it uh, tries to repair those after the war Parthenax dilemma it lets you work with the blades and the grey beards. You don't have to choose one or the other and Parthenax gets to live. Realistic animal loot is exactly what it says on the tin. It's four legs on goats, horns, uh, two eyes on other animals, teeth, two teeth on saber cats, giants have got two toes, etc. One of my favourite mods, dead NPC cleaner. No longer do you have to tolerate corpses cluttering up your house and home after bandits invade you and you kill them in your house. Fewer quests to complete the Thieves Guild. Uh, the next one, Fade Other, is a spell to make people invisible. Not yourself, but uh, other people. Detect Fallen, anyone that falls in battle, it kind of if you cast a spell it highlights them in purple and you can find them and loot their corpses. The efficient perk overhaul we had before, a better perk system than the vanilla one. I kept cheat room, although I don't intend to use it as much as I did last time. The reason that I kept it was just in case I need a, a fix at any time. The other thing, I can change the weather with it. And, and the other, the first thing that I always use it for is, is I set the time, the how fast the time runs. I set that really down low. It's, um, I, th I think default is for every minute that you spend in real time, 20 minutes pass by in the game. And I set that down using the cheat room to, for every minute in real time, only two minutes pass in game. So I, I get longer daylight questing. Then we've got the mods relating to Dragon Souls. So they do various things. If you've got unspent Dragon Souls, so multiples of five will improve things as you can see there, you can, you can read it. Increases health, magicka and stamina and shouts cooldown is faster. And this one, the Fire Within, actually improves each of the shouts individually if they can be improved. Some don't make any change. Uh, for example, Clear Skies, there's no need for a change on that, it does everything anyway. Um, but the other ones like Cyclone 
uh, or, or unrelenting force, they do more damage. Uh, so that's good. And Immortal Dragonborn, if providing you have at least one unspent soul, you cannot die. You end up taking a knee and where you'd normally have died, you survive. Then Amazing Follower Tweaks, never use commands from that on Inigo or other complex Molower Fods like Lucian for example. And then we've got some add-ons for Amazing Follower Tweaks which I didn't have last time, although I've had them for a while now. So that lets you to have more followers. So I forgot how many I can have. I think it's seven now I can have in, in total at, at one time. Yes, seven. And then no friendly fire. Your companions will not be hurt by your spells and such like. No custom dances. Uh, hopefully Inigo won't be affected anymore and I can see his proper uh, dragon pie dance. Guard dialogue overhaul. No more dead merchants. Self-explanatory. Hearthflyer display case fix. Let's things stay put. Uh, neutral Harium. I can buy any time Harium. Rich Merchants. Really good horse mod. Uh, oblivious Horses. No bulls projectile dodge. So they can't dodge past your arrows when they're an inch from their nose. Shiny better shaped weapons. And uh, that's a great look in the game. I love that. And Ars Metallica gives you more options. This one lets you temper the ebony blade at a grindstone. More plants, a great mod. It's not available anymore. The, the author took it down, but um, because I've already got it loaded in, I can still use it. That, that lets me grow my own jarring root and other plants. And it's, I'm not going to be deleting that in a hurry. That's really useful. It's a real shame that the author took it down. I'm not sure why, but um, that's why it's kind of greyed out. Relationship dialogue overhaul and immersive citizens. Pretty much they, they do what they say on the tin as well. They're kind of good. And then patches for those. Then no, there, finally some new mods again. In the live action trailer from way back in... Um, 2011 when the when the game came out the live action trailer that I saw that triggered me to buy the game the day it came out you hear this bell going there's a warning bell in this in the town and the dragon attacks and there's there's no bell in the vanilla game uh, this puts a bell in most of the major cities uh, I haven't found them all yet I've, I've heard some but uh, it's I kind of like that they also ring it when I went into Markarth and you have the attack in the marketplace when you first go in there. The guards will ring the bell for that as well. So it's not just for dragons. Then a few more. That's again for, for performance boost. Uh, improve the water. Improve the way skeletons react or uh, bodies when they when they die they don't sort of slide as if they're on ice for miles and miles or they, they will fall properly better looking females males and children uh, the eye blink mod better looking eyes and hair and then quest markers for baron's eye jib's opus sarbac skull other useful this is another new mod that i've got it puts in like a breeze home and and um, Yorvaska and places that aren't usually on the map they get uh, lots of useful map markers dawn guard map markers and the color patches remover gets if you have this horrible orange patches that gets rid of that so that's that's it that's that's all the mods so let me show you what they actually do thank you for your patience Let's join Evander. Here we are in the rift. Now, is that not beautiful? I can finally see why Inigo likes the rift so much. Look at the colours there from the, the tree mods and and uh, the grasses. There's, there's the grasses, clover, little buttercups in there, a few daisies and the trees are absolutely gorgeous I love that um, 
of course the weather has to be just right this this is a really clear sunny day and uh, yeah perfect and on the water reflections on the water as well so all those colors are reflected in the water on the lake absolutely beautiful Inigo and I are going to enjoy walking around here something just ran across there I don't know what it was oh it's just a deer but is that not absolutely gorgeous love it right I'm gonna just go to Riverwood for a minute and show you that's Helgen okay I'm gonna go to Riverwood like I said okay so here's one I'm gonna use the cheat room to change the weather to clear oh it's p.m. let's make it noon there we go Hearing some strange noises, not sure what it is. That was birds. Now, I spoke before about um, glitching, glitching out, and the um, also the distant uh, grasses where, where the grass in the this is where i really noticed it the grass that was in the foreground was really really dark and the grass in the distance over the other side of the river or the the stream was really really bright and it just didn't look natural at all but um i really like the look of this these little bits of clover and such and uh, the trees kind of look better in my opinion And here, again, it's a really natural, nice green colour. I really like the look of it. And so that the other side of that stream was horribly bright, sort of neon green. And that's a lot better now. and uh yeah i hope you like this it's kind of i think it's a much better look than we had before and again when i sort of looked when i was first um, trying to sort the load order out and selecting mods uh, an issue that i had was this mountain that looked completely whited out the the higher parts i can't point my finger disappears but yeah the height where the snow is there just below the clouds that was kind of it's like someone had painted it with a roller it's horrible and that would gradually change as i as i walk closer to it it would gradually go darker and look more like a mountain when i got nearer but while it was in the distance it looked absolutely horrible and that's a lot to me it's a lot better now a lot, a lot more realistic nicer looking mountain and 
just pop in the, these map markers there, map marker for Breeze Home in Jorvaska. I'm going to pop here. So there is the bell, one of the bells of Skyrim. They're, they're, they're not all as obvious as that. Uh, the one in solitude is kind of hidden away. It took me quite a while to find. But um, yeah, I found it in the, in the end. You certainly hear them before I'm you. I'm telling you, I heard it howling. Those werewolf tales are true. Really? Okay, now this was where I was standing when I decided I needed to do something about the mountains. Because I looked they say across. The college has been snooping around Sarthor. Mages in a burial crypt? No good can come of that. Shut up. Um, yeah, I looked across there. And again, where there's the snow, where my cursor is now. Should have done that before, pointing at the mountain. But yeah, that, it, it looked like it was painted by a child with a roller. It was, it was absolutely horrible. And uh, it looks a lot better now. We've got sort of thicker snow areas and lighter dustings of snow over here. And the um, mist uh, looks really, really nice. So th that is called Granite Mountains, that mod. And uh, yeah. So, right, here's the bell. If I give it a ding... If we watch the people, they'll all run away. Everything all right? The guard will turn it off. <laughs> but if they get attacked, if they get attacked by a dragon, then the guards will ring the bell. There's there's a guard that's permanently stationed by every bell. And uh, yeah, I kind of like it. It's good. <laughs> Apparently. There will be um, an Stay update. Trouble, elf. There will be update to that mod where you actually get arrested for for causing a disturbance if you ring the bell. <laughs> I'm kind of looking forward to that. It's good. Um, so right, what I want to do now is go back to Riften and. Show you a little bit more around inside Riften because that looks good as well. This is obviously a shakedown. All right, keep your voice down. You want everyone to hear you? I'll let you in. Just let me unlock the gate. Okay, that's the biggest waste of time ever. That uh, thing. Isn't this gorgeous though? The gate's unlocked. You can head inside when you're ready. I think I might stay in Riften. I had another run-in with the Thieves' Guild. Be careful, Mule. The Thieves' Guild has Maven Blackbriar at its back. One snap of her fingers and you could end up in Riften Jail. Or worse. They represent the reason I'm here. I can't just ignore them, Eren. I know. I just don't want you to leave. You're the only good thing that's happened to this city in a long time. Okay. A pause there so you can actually see what the hey, you. Get over redesigned females and males you. looks like. Um, it's, it's certainly a lot better looking than the vanilla characters. But again, look at this. This is Honeyside. And this so much greener and nicer than it used to be. Working at the Rift in Fishery is tough. But it puts some coin in my pocket. Nice. And yeah, just all in all, really pleased with the way the game looks. Was a mistake. Okay, so I think. Well, what I will do is I will show you the new character as well. So this is Evander. Ugly looking fella. Uh, he's going to be a crook. He's going to be an assassin. And a if mage. If Riften is the best Skyrim has to offer, I may as well turn back right now and just head for home. So he's, at the moment he's got a particular um, 
affection for fire based mods so although he's got kind of red eyes he's not a vampire as yet but uh, he's, he's going to be a chiefly a fire mage but he, he'll, he'll carry a bow and a sword as a, as a backup um, but yeah so that's Evander and we're going to see him very very soon I promise so I can't say goodbye to say say goodbye to now any go because he's not here he's still in the jail but we're going to do episode one of Evander's adventures and uh, we will see you very very soon thank you for watching bye for now <laughs>